Ooh, I don't like all that creaking. Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Finally, I'm, I'm actually more consistent for once. And that's what this video is actually going to be about. So, this one I wanted to talk about consistency. Because my biggest problem is not being consistent. Before, I would make videos... Like, one, like, I'd make a video one day, and then I'd never make anything for, like, what? A good month or so? And it's just like, and I'm sitting here waiting for the YouTube channel to blow up, and it's just like, oh no, nothing's blown up, why not? Because you don't make videos consistently. So, I'm gonna actually take my advice and the things that I did the last video, and just try to sketch out random stuff, whatever comes to mind, and eventually I'll start coming up with stuff. Oh, I did have a theme. Um, I forgot. I had a theme. I'm going to use this color. I'm going to use three random colors. Uh, what is it? And then robots. Yeah, so I'm going to draw robots with these three colors, I guess. While talking about consistency. So, when it comes to consistency, I was really bad at it before. Because I didn't, like, have a real reason to be consistent, you know? Like, what's the point of drawing every single day? What's the point of making content at least every three days? What's the, yeah, you know, like, what's the point of it? Why can't I just, you know, do whatever I've been normally doing and just do it at the same pace? And I thought about it, and it's just, like, it's going to take really long to make anything. Like, if I made, if I, like, filled up a page consistently every single day, then, like, my sketchbooks would be filled, like, really, really fast. And what, this is, like, how many pages? Maybe, like, a hundred or so. That would just be, like, super fast. And I found out, and I, no, I didn't find out. I realized that if I wanted any of my, why is it so zoomed in? Oh. If I wanted any of my, like, my drawings to actually, like, get any better, right? I would have to first be consistent. I'd have to make constant effort to make a video, to draw every single time without failure, without fail. Because, you know, sometimes I really just don't feel like drawing. Sometimes I'd rather just go play video games or just do whatever. And what? I just, like, I just don't feel like it. But I keep I keep telling myself that if I kind of go by that I don't feel like it mode, I'm not going to get anything done. Shit, I don't know how to draw robots. I don't know, I've been watching a lot of Gundam, like, lately. So I want to be able to, like you know, draw actual cool Gundams. I don't know, it's just kind of difficult because they. I'm just, like, adding random shapes on top of shapes. I can only do, like, the head and shoulders really well, but then the bodies are just kind of, ugh. I should practice on that more. Yeah, but if I make a... If I, if, um, if I make a video every single three days... I'm not going to do the math on that. Just, ugh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, but if I did that, then, like my video making skills would shoot up really fast because I'm constantly getting that practice, constantly getting those reps in, you know, constantly making an effort and making those, those videos. Now my videos by any means are not very well, well made. I kind of just spit whatever and just throw it on the canvas. Uh, because I mean, I just started, so it's, they're not going to be very good, but I don't really care about that right now. Right now. I just care about making as much as possible. Should do some I'm trying to get back into the fundamentals of art again. Cause I've kind of come to terms that I'm not very good at drawing and I should probably, you know, practice more instead of the bare minimum that I always do. Yeah, but drawing's actually been really fun lately. And like, now that I've kind of let that pressure, like, go, and I've kind of just, like, accepted that I'm, my stuff isn't going to be very, very good, it kind of, like, opens the lenses, and... Well, it actually gives me the opportunity to make cooler and better stuff. Because, you know, I'm not going to really want to draw anything that I don't really enjoy, you know? 
five minutes. I should probably get a little longer. So I'm going to talk about the ways that I stay consistent with my videos and with my drawings. I would say break it down into smaller chunks. Because before, when I was about to draw, I would always make it this like this like super big monumental task. I would sit down and I'd make these massive expectations. Like I'd sit down and just be like, I have to make the greatest thing that I've ever made. And it's got to be better than everything else that I've made. I got to come up with this amazing story. I got to come up with these blah, 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 blah. Just constantly like, constantly like making super like, big expectations that are going to be actually impossible to fill. I should focus on this guy a little more. I'm trying to make these like big, massive expectations that are super hard to fill. And doing that just makes me not want to draw it because it's just like, man, I don't want to disappoint myself. I want to have to go through all that mental bullshittery, you know? So I kind of fixed it by just not being afraid of failure and not really caring that much because, you know, it's just a drawing, really. It's not the end of the world. If it looks bad, it looks bad. If it looks good, it looks good. As long as I'm making practice. I don't know. Every single time I draw these, like, robots, I always like the really big, like, shoulder things. You know, they're all big and blocky. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. And then, like, purple is kind of like the theme. Oh, it's looking cool. I need more space. Where was I? Shit, I can't forget where I was going. Okay. Oh, yeah, next thing. So, step one is stop being afraid of messing up. That's a shitty angle. Jeez, I can't stand move. I just can't stand not having enough room on my my paper. Oh gosh, please stop. Okay, that's decent. So step one is not being afraid of messing up. Step two is gonna be, you just gotta force yourself. Or, no, no, that's gonna be step, yeah. Step two, st ugh. Step one is stop being afraid. Step two is just, what is it? Just force yourself. You really just gotta, like, push yourself to do it. Because you're never gonna feel like it. I've kind of realized that I've never actually, like, felt like drawing. And if I did, it would go away in, like, a second. Like, I'd have all the inspiration. I'd want to draw, like, everything. And then immediately afterwards, it would just all, like, fall out. And it'd just be like, ugh, I feel drained again. Now I don't want to draw. So, really, it's just, like, you just gotta push yourself to do so. And once you do, like, once you actually put the pen to paper... Uh, you're just gonna, like, feel better, and it's just gonna be easier. And it's not gonna be all... Yeah, it's not gonna be all shitty like you think it is in your head. Gosh, I really need some references for robots. I really don't know how to draw robots. I don't know, because I, I just think that a robot is just, in my in my head, it's just a boxy human. Or a human wearing armor. Or it's just a pair of an armor. That's way more complicated than that, because I don't really know what robots look like. Just clunky mach humanoid machines. Which isn't really, you know, what it, what it actually is. And I keep drawing the same angle, too. I need to fix that. And then the third thing, so for, number one is stop being afraid. Number two is just force yourself. And number three is you got to realize why you're doing it like a lot of the time like when i was making these videos and when they weren't coming out very very much i realized i was realized i didn't realize why i wanted to do it you know 
it was more just like I'm doing it because I guess I want to, but I I wasn't like seeing the point of it all. So like it made it like hard to actually like make anything. I'm just gonna draw these silhouettes for now because I'm not gonna. I don't want to get it onto all, all the details and stuff. Yeah, I didn't realize what the, uh, the purpose of it all. Like, I just thought, like, I was just drawing just to draw, just making these random videos that nobody really watched just to make them. And I kind of forgot why I wanted to do all of it in the first place. Now I do realize why I wanted to do it in the first place. It's because I plan to be an animator later. And I want to have a place and a platform to put all that work and all that stuff. Because I'm sure if I keep going at this uh, YouTube thing, I'm eventually going to start animating, start putting stuff out here on this channel, and it'll just eventually get bigger and bigger and bigger, and I'll just have this nice little YouTube channel that I built from the ground up, years and years and years of progress. But my, a couple months ago, my mind didn't really work like that. I didn't see that far into the future. I just saw... All I saw was no views on this video, two views on this video... And it's just like, man, what's the point of all this? It's dumb. You know, that's not really the case. Yeah, I really need some references for robots. Yeah, that's just not very, like, it's not a very good thing. Let's, let's try working on these sketches. I like this one. I'm gonna try to make something out of this thing. And like if I stay and when I stay consistent, when I stay making the same uh, progress, like I, consistently all the time, every single, every single day, like it may not build up like just yet, like I may not get famous that day, right? But eventually, if I keep doing the, if I keep making these videos like I, you do, Sooner or later, an audience work is going to build, and that's going to boost my confidence, and that's going to make me want to make videos even more. And it's just kind of like, what is it? It's like a cycle. It'll just keep keep going and going and going and going. Kind of like with these drawings. I start out with uh, random stuff, like, all up here. That doesn't really make any sense. Blech. And I just got to keep sketching and sketching and sketching and eventually like the ideas will start to flow eventually uh, art will start to look better my ideas will have more weight and water to them you know and before i know it i have an amazing drawing and an amazing new idea to draw that i can look go back and draw again like i drew these weird mountain monsters or whatever that i'm gonna do a proper finished drawing for later when I get around to it. And when I say when I get around to it, it means I'm actually going to do it. Because I need cause I need to say, stay consistent for my own integrity, you know. Because it drives me crazy when I, I go back to my videos and be like... Like that one video where I was painting a, a mountain or something. I said, oh yeah, I'm going to make a new video, I promise you. And then it was like a whole month and I didn't make anything. And that drives me crazy. I don't like being all that. I don't like being dishonest like that. And it's not even like dishonest to the people watching. It's more dishonest to myself. Like you said you were going to do it and you didn't. And then like there's no real good reason why. I wasn't like kidnapped or whatever. I wasn't held at gunpoint not to make videos. I just didn't do it because I was playing video games or something. I'm really liking it. Now I'm really liking this. This one drawing. For some reason, Gundam Gundams always have these big fat feet. I don't know why. It's just it's kind of pleasing though. I like the way it looks. Oof! I need to work on those feet. I'm gonna just work on this drawing for the next part of the video. And being consistent really just helps me with my confidence when it comes to my art. 
Because before I'd always be doubting myself like, oh man, I can't draw. I don't draw anymore. I'm not as consistent as I would like to be. Oh man, it's not very good. And, like, that would just kind of, like, put me down, and I wouldn't want to, and, like, it just put me down, and then, like, I wouldn't want to make anything, because I'm just assuming that I'm bad or something, because I don't draw. And I get a little rusty when I don't draw after a long period of time. Okay, let's, uh, put in some color. Man, I need to get myself a proper pen, like an inking pen. I keep using these crappy Sharpies, but they don't do anything. This is a lengthy video, I'm liking this. Now once I can edit, once I start editing, then I can chop up these videos and take out all the bullshit parts. But until then, this is what I get. I'll figure it out later. And that's not like a later of, oh, I'll do it when I feel like it, and then never do it. It's probably, sh it should be, I should do it as soon as possible. Find out a way, you know? So just, you know, cheaping out and just waiting. I need to finish this, my the time limit's coming up soon. So I'm going to go over the last, the last uh, three parts, the most important, you know, chunks of it. So one is stop being afraid of making mistakes because you're going to make them and you might as well. Two is just force yourself to do it because if you don't really, you're never going to feel like it. So there's no point in waiting for that aha moment or the eureka moment, you know. You know, just to be decorative, I'm just going to add these, you know, a spike or something. It's a good armor plate without a spike. Yeah, that's cool. And then two is... No, three. I meant three. Three is you just gotta find out why you're doing it. Because if you have a why, it's gonna be better than forcing yourself or just doing it. Because you're gonna have, like, a reason to do it. And having a reason to do it is almost always better than, you know, than not. Because who wants to do something that you don't know the reason to? You want If you have a job, you're working there because you have money. You're not working there because you don't know. That wouldn't make any sense. You'd look dumb. Alright, my time is coming up. I really like that drawing. Oh gosh, no, don't do that. So my time is coming up. I'm going to add a nice little silhouette. maybe some yellow around it to make it look to make it pop out a little more yeah that's a nice little drawing that came out of this sketch all right thank you for watching thanks for hearing me out thanks for sticking around i'll see you in my next video in the next three days all right thank you bye